Hi, I'm Winnie from the Dot Mailer training team. If you have any questions on anything we're about to cover, feel free to contact our support team or your account manager. In this session, we'll be covering account settings. The account settings menu is where you can check your account preferences and make any changes. To access this menu, simply hover over your name at the top of the platform and this produces a drop down menu. We'll be taking a look at the account option first of all. Within the account option, you'll notice that there are a series of tabs at the top here. The first one being usage. Within this tab, you can monitor account usage for the given month. You can monitor stats on things like your standard email sends, triggered email sends, total email sends, contacts, and API usage. You can also monitor information on things like any additional charges and credits. The next tab is billing details. This is where you can change information in regards to your account billing. This includes purchase order number, contact number, address, and any billing contacts. The next tab is account settings. Within this tab, you'll notice there are several sections. The first one being localization. This is where you can update your account language and time zone. You also have the ability to change your customer service address. The next section here is features. Again, you'll notice that there are several options when it comes to working with the features section. The first one being the preference center. This is where you can enable your account preference center. Once enabled, clients will be able to update their preferences in regards to data fields and what information you hold on them, as well as any address books they might sit within. For more information on this, please refer to the data management chapter on the preference center. The next option is include attachments in forwarded replies. This relates to the optional forwarding address in the inbox preview section. If you provide a forwarding email address, then any replies are stored in the reporting section of DotMailer as well as being forwarded on to the nominated address. By enabling this option here, you're ensuring that any attachments with these replies are also included. The next option is enable send throttling. When enabled, this allows you to send your campaign out over a period of time. This helps with particularly large sends in terms of preventing an influx of immediate inquiries from your clients and can also aid with protecting sender reputation. When enabled, the send throttling options will appear in the contact section when building your campaign. This section is where you choose who you're sending your campaign to and when. The send throttling options appear in regards to when you're sending your campaign. You'll notice here that we have two options in regards to either using the default sending speed or otherwise choosing to send your campaign out over a specific period of time. These send throttling options will appear for both the schedule send out and the immediate send out. The next option in the features section is enable lead scoring. This option will only appear if you have purchased the additional bolt-on. For clients to use lead scoring, they will need to enable this bolt-on here. Once lead scoring is enabled, you'll be able to access this lead scoring functionality by going to the contacts drop-down menu and selecting lead scoring. For more information on how to use lead scoring, please refer to the lead scoring chapter. The next option is enabling drag and drop external dynamic content. This is where you can enable drag and drop functionality for external dynamic content such as Magento. To set this up, you will need to discuss with your account manager as a URL endpoint is required. The last option here is display account time in header. Enabling account time allows you to monitor what time zone you're working to. This is useful for an account which has users in different time zones. Please note that the time zone your account works to is linked to where the account was originally set up. Once account time is enabled, this will display at the top of the platform. The next section is survey features. The first option is detect and reduce suspect responses. When enabled, DotMailer will watch for suspect responses and protect your surveys when we spot them. The second option is enable beta features. This allows you to monitor potential new features when released in beta mode. The following section is security, and this relates to two-factor authentication. When enabled, this increases your account security by requesting a code when logging in. When logging in, this code will be sent out to the mobile number below, and if a number isn't provided, this is sent to the account email address instead. The next section is Google Analytics. This is where you can enable your integration with Google Analytics by authorizing a connection to your Google Analytics account. The next tab 
is SMS settings. If you're signed up for any .mailer SMS services, this is where you can go to change those settings. The last tab here is invoices. Within this tab, this is where you can view invoices for your account and you also have the option to pay invoices in here as well. The next option in the account settings drop down menu is my details. This is where you can change the contact name on your account. You can also change the email address. However, to finalize this change, you will need to contact our support team. You can also change your account password here. To do this, simply give us the old password and create the new. Please note your password must be at least eight characters in length and contain at least one digit or non-alphanumeric character. The next option in the account settings drop-down menu is users. This is where you can create login credentials for any other account users. These are referred to as managed users within DotMailer. To find out how many managed users you can create, please contact your account manager as this is account specific. When creating a managed user, simply click on the add user button. You will then need to provide user information such as email address, name, and mobile number. You will also need to create a password. However, the user will be able to change this when they first log into DotMailer. The other thing you will need to do is set up account permissions. You can do this here and this allows you to restrict account access should you need to. The next option in the drop-down menu is exports. The exports area allows you to view any items exported from your account. It displays the date the item was exported, the item name, and it also allows you to download the item by clicking on the download text in blue. The next option in the drop-down menu is account utilities. The first tab here allows you to view deleted items from your account. It displays the item name, item type, the date it was deleted, and it also gives you the option of recovery should you need to restore it to your DotMailer account. When recovering an item, DotMailer will ask you to confirm this, and it will also ask you to choose a folder location you want it to be restored into. The next tab relates to default domains. In this section, we can view any custom from addresses associated with our account you will be able to select one of these as your default. The next option in the drop-down menu is notifications. In this area, we can view any imports or exports into our DotMailer account. An import notification comes with an import report. By clicking on this link, we're able to view this report, also known as the data watchdog breakdown. An export notification, however, allows you to click on the item name, which will take you back to the export section. The next option in the drop-down menu is domain names. Any domain names associated with your account will be listed here. Other information that will be included is domain purchase date, expiry date, and the options to view and register owner details and renewal option. And finally, the last option in the account settings drop-down menu is the ability to log out of your DotMailer account.